Ready? You have the cameras rolling? It's me, President Trump, and it's really, really me. The reason I say that is on the run-up to the 2020 election, we're going to see a lot of deep fake videos. This stuff is very, very sophisticated, as you may not be able to tell. It's that good. It's really that good. We might have a situation where I don't get elected, and I don't like that, and I don't like that. So be on the lookout for fake and phony videos that do not portray me in a good light because I'm like a smart guy who passed the cognitive test with an A+. Plus. I'm a smart guy, I have a big brain. So if the video seems a little off, and I'm not saying how incredibly smart I am. As we've now learned, a number of world leaders have tested positive for coronavirus. Well, my test was negative, as you all know. In fact, it was so negative that the doctor said they never saw a negative number so low. So low. They said it was beautifully negative. They were very, very impressed. It was perfect. It was perfectly negative. Tremendously negative. Actually, they've never seen a test this negative before in history. And my doctor, he said it best. It was the greatest negative score of anyone who's ever taken the coronavirus test. Nobody knows more about taxes than I do and income than I do. I know more about drones than anybody. Nobody knows much more about technology, this type of technology, certainly, than I do. Nobody knows more about technology than me. I know more about technology than anybody. I know the H-1B. I know the H-2B. Nobody knows it better than me. I know more about ISIS than the generals do, believe me. And by the way, who knew the other side of the picture better than me? I knew it. Hello, Brad. It's me, President Trump, greatest president in the history of presidents, other than the late, great Abe Lincoln, who, by the way, wasn't that great. He wasn't that great, Brad. You know why? You know why? <laughs> what do you have to do with the teeny, tiny civil war? What do I get? What do I get? Like a kung flu from Wang Chung, China. Do you believe this? Do you believe this, Brad? Terrible people, the Chinese. Terrible people. Great takeout. Terrible people. But I'm not here to talk about Abe Lincoln or China or the tremendous job I'm doing. But you know I'm doing a great job, Brad. I've seen the videos. I've seen the videos. What about the Chinese? Terrible people, the Chinese. Terrible people. Great takeout. Terrible people. And by the way, by the way, by the way, what are we doing now during the whole pandemic? Everyone's doing takeout. Who invented takeout? China. It may get bigger, it may get a little bigger, it may not get bigger at all. We'll see what happens. But regardless of what happens, we're totally prepared. I love the Jewish people, tremendous people, great people, hardworking people, so good with money, the Jewish people. And I love them so much. Many people think that the J in Donald J. Trump stands for Jewish, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It stands for genius. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people it say it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. And I tested very positively in a in another sense. So this morning, yeah, I tested positively toward negative, right? So, no, I tested uh, perfectly this morning. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? What I said the other night, there's never been anything where they have so many names. I could give you 19 or 20 names for that, right? It's got all different names, Wuhan. Now, Wuhan was catching on. Coronavirus, right? Kung flu, yeah. Kung flu. Kung flu. COVID, COVID-19, COVID. I say, what's the 19? COVID-19, some people can't explain what the 19. Give me the COVID-19. I said, that's an odd name. I could give you many, many names. Some people call it the Chinese flu, the China flu, right? They call it the China, as opposed to China, the China. I never see anything like it, but here's the story. We are going to be stronger than ever before, and it's going to be the difference between a wet raccoon and Donald J. Trump's hair. A wet raccoon doesn't have seven billion fucking dollars in the bank.